Welcome to a lesson on the technique of separation of variables to solve a differential equation. When a differential equation is in the form of y prime equals f of x, we can just integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x, which gives us y equals the integral of f of x dx plus c. Unfortunately, this method no longer works for the general form of the differential equation y prime equals f of x comma y. If we try to integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x, this would give us y equals the integral of f of x comma y dx plus c, which again is not going to work because f of x comma y is a function of two variables, not just x. Which brings us to the technique of separation of variables. We see a differential equation is separable if it can be written in the form of y prime equals f of x times g of y, meaning y prime equals a function of x times a function of y. If we have an equation in this form, using Leibniz notation, we can write the equation as dy dx equals f of x times g of y. From here, our goal is to get the y parts on the left and the x parts on the right. To do this, we divide both sides by g of y, and then write the differential equation in differential form, which gives us dy divided by g of y equals f of x times dx. Algebraically, it appears as if we divided both sides by g of y, which is fine, but it also appears as if we multiplied both sides by dx, which algebraically works, but that's not really what's happening here, which we'll talk more about in just a moment. Once we have the y parts on the left and the x parts on the right, we integrate both sides of the equation, which gives us the integral of dy divided by g of y, or if we want the integral of one divided by g of y dy equals the integral of f of x dx plus c. If we can find closed form expressions for these two integrals, we can perhaps then solve for y. Now let's talk more about how we go from the form of dy dx equals f of x times g of y to the integral of dy divided by g of y equals the integral of f of x dx. So again, starting with dy dx equals f of x times g of y, we can multiply both sides of the equation by one divided by g of y, which gives us one divided by g of y dy dx equals f of x. And now from here, what we're really doing is integrating both sides of the equation with respect to the same variable, the variable x which gives us the integral of one divided by g of y dy dx dx equals the integral of f of x dx. Looking at the left side, it appears as if the dx's just simplify out, giving us just dy, but that's not really what's happening here. Every y term in g of y is a function of x, so if we let y equal y of x, differential y is equal to y prime of x dx, and since y prime of x is equal to dy dx, Notice dy is equal to dy dx times dx. So we're really performing a substitution here where we can substitute dy for dy dx times dx, which again gives us just dy. We normally skip over this in practice, but that's really what's happening. We're getting both sides of the equation with respect to the same variable, the variable x, and then performing a substitution on the left. But again, in practice, it is okay to think of dividing both sides by g of y and then multiplying both sides by dx. And now let's look at an example. Let's solve y prime equals x times y using separation of variables. To begin, notice that y equals zero is a solution. We will remember that fact and assume y doesn't equal zero for now so that we can divide by y or multiply both sides by one over y. We begin by writing the differential equation as dy dx equals x times y. And now we want the y parts on the left and the x parts on the right. To begin, we multiply both sides of the equation by one divided by y. And then we write the differential equation in differential form. Or again, if we want to think of multiplying both sides by dx, that gives us one divided by y dy equals x dx. Notice in this form, we have all the y parts on the left and the x parts on the right. And now we integrate both sides of the equation. This gives us the integral of one divided by y dy equals the integral of x dx. The integral of one divided by y dy is equal to a natural log absolute value of y plus a constant, which we'll include on the right. On the right, the integral of x dx is equal to x squared divided by two plus a constant. So now we put the plus c on here, which again is the constant on the left and right combined on the right. And now we want to solve for y. We can do this two ways. We can write the log equation as an exponential equation, or we can raise e to the power of the left side of the equation and e to the power of the right side of the equation. Either way, we get the absolute value of y is equal to e raised to the power of x squared divided by two plus c. From here, because we have a sum in the exponent, we can write e to the power of x squared divided by two plus c 
as e to the power of x squared divided by two times e to the c. e to the c is just some constant, which we'll call d, giving us the absolute value of y is equal to d times e to the power of x squared divided by two. Where d is greater than, where d greater than zero is some constant, because y equals zero is also a solution, and because of the absolute value around the y, we can drop the absolute value and write the general solution as y equals d times e to the power of x squared divided by two for any number d, including zero or negative. So notice that we don't have to list y equals zero as a separate solution because when d is zero, we do have y equals zero. Let's verify this is a solution to the given differential equation, which means we need to verify that y prime is equal to x times y. Well, we know y, let's find y prime. y prime requires the chain rule. The derivative formula is shown below. y prime is equal to d times e to the power of x squared divided by two times the derivative of x squared divided by two, which is x, giving us x times d e to the power of x squared divided by two, which is equal to x times y, verifying our general solution is correct. We will look at some more examples in the next few videos. I hope you found this helpful.